Okay, this is uh, another video about my 2022 Mo Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive. And somebody had asked me to do something on the real-time kilometers you get. So I had a trip. It was a two hours, about two hours and 50 minute drive up uh, up north. You know, average 80, 90 kilometer back road. The road trip was 250 minutes. Starting kilometers at a full charge was 428 kilometers. Or for the other miles, I'll do the conversions. It's 265 miles. The distance we traveled was about 156 kilometers or 96 miles to get up there it was a hot day so i had the air on it was like 30 degrees celsius it was warm it's super hot so we had the air on the whole time we didn't try to save money that way and uh, like i said the i was going you know anything in the 80 90 so probably 100 100 kilometers an hour so it was 156 kilometers we traveled which is 97 miles the difference was 31 extra kilometers used on that trip or 19 miles extra distance used so that works out to be about 1.2 kilometers for every for every kilometer traveled 1.2 kilometers or 0.75 miles i don't know if that makes sense but 0.75 miles for every uh, kilometer used for, for real-time use could have made it home, but I figured I'd charge it when we were in King Card and we still had enough to come back, but I did go to their supercharger. I'll put in a little clip here. This is part of the charging thing. This is the set. That's the supercharger in King Carden here. So actually quite a lot of units. There was one other car here earlier, same color as mine, but with black interior, with lots of spots. I think we were about 30 minutes here and I'll let you know what the t cost was it to charge. Um, one mistake I did make is we were at Chum for lunch and I should have put the charger destination into my navigation system because then the car, because it gave me a notification saying so I'm just going to read this. Next time navigate to supercharger, battery will be conditioned faster at charge. So if we had to put the destination in, Tesla would have known that we were going to charge the battery and therefore the charge would happen faster. So I, I've never seen that message come up. Like I said, I haven't used a lot of chargers other than my own at home. So that's good to know. So next time I'm gonna do that, I'll just put that in there on my way there. The charging time is about 30 minutes and the cost was $12.18. I charged up to 4.07. The home was about the same distance. I maybe drove a different way. So the starting kilometers to drive home now has dropped to 390 because we did a bit driving around. So that's 242 miles that we had to go home. The distance home was again 154 kilometers, so 96 miles. And at the end of that trip, we had 185 kilometers left, so 114 miles left on it. So we used 205 kilometers or 127 miles to do that distance. So the actual real time use on that is it was 1.33. It was a little higher than on the way there. The only thing I can factor in is the way home that we went was a little bit more hilly. It was hotter again, cause it was uh, midday. Whereas the other trip, it was, this was all done in the same day. So that's 1.3 kilometers or 0.82 miles. Again, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right that way, but again, a hot day, 30 plus air conditioning on county roads, 80 kilometers, 90 kilometers. So 40 miles. 55 miles an hour would be the speed limit and we stopped a couple of times just to get food and stuff like that so it's not too bad and then today which is the next day i did just a small run around trip going out of town a little ways and so i got that one as well too so the starting today 433 kilometers so that's 270 miles and when i came back we had 388 kilometers so 241 miles used a 41 kilometer drive and we used 45 so you can see the difference there in town is really small 41 kilometers cost me 45 so 1.09 kilometers or 0.67 miles again and again today is super hot so i hope this helps answer some of your questions about real time range again like i could have easily on that two hours a two hours and 50 minute drive up there i could have done there and back i didn't need to charge to come back i was at like 67 percent when I came home, so I could have done it. We just chose to make life easier and just charge up. Again, uh, I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below or any other videos you'd like me to make. I still got one other one that I have to make somebody asked me to do, which is like a, a rolling start. We do that one next. Just doing, I think he wants me to go like maybe 40 or whatever. I should do something because I tell you, driving up on the back roads, there's like a lot of traffic 
and this car had no problem passing five cars. I mean, I know that's not the safest thing in the world, but the roads are very open and very straight. I could see for miles and uh, it, it was easy to, to pass people. I didn't use the autopilot very much on those roads. Again, if you're going 80, you get 90 kilometers an hour on that. So it, it, it was too slow for other people driving. So people tend to go on average about 15 kilometers, whatever miles above the speed limit. So I just, I didn't use the autopilot very much anymore. Anyway, please uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day. And I look forward to doing more videos and uh, I look forward to your comments.